Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 21st of November. The local media headlines today. The promise of affordable housing is often used by property developers to help them win planning permission. But affordable for whom? At 80% of full open market value, the term is widely seen as pretty meaningless. Which is why a new initiative from Cornwall Council, hoping to devise a new definition of affordable housing based on local incomes, is very interesting. The idea is due to go before a committee meeting next week and then to the council's cabinet next year. It's likely to be controversial with those who see housing as a means to profit and the new initiative could get quite a bumpy ride. Cornwall Reports also had an update on the future of the Wave Hub. County Hall is planning to make a decision about it next year. There's also news about a £40 million cash injection to help deal with the crisis in emergency housing in Cornwall. And credit where it's due, Richard Branson has finally got his rocket off the ground. A flight into space is still some way off. The BBC had a report on the death of a young man from Cornwall in Dartmoor Prison. The 22-year-old took his own life. It later transpired that prison officers had been unaware of the culture of bullying and drug abuse inside the prison which contributed to his death. Pirate FM told us about Devon and Cornwall police having to deal with 60 incidents involving members of the public who were wearing fancy dress. Only one of those incidents resulted in an arrest. The Falmouth packet had more coverage of the gorse fires on the Lizard. The Cornish Times reported Kylie Minogue's decision to play a second gig at the Eden Project after tickets for the first date sold out within minutes. The Buden Stratton Post told us how the local youth theatre plans to tell the story of the local canal. And finally, Cornwall Live says it's going to snow. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thanks very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.